Mother Nature has a solution for every problem. Imagine walking in a pine tree forest after a thunderstorm, looking at the glistening trees and inhale and smell the pine. I bet you can almost smell the pine here at the Riddlesal. <laughs> but do you know where it, where it came from? The high electrical charge between the tree and the lightning put stress on the needles of the pine tree. Because of this stress, the needles flow, uh, spray a substance. Um, this, the, the, the spraying of the substance has caused the nice smell. I bet a lot of you didn't know that. It took us several years of research and development to know the exact mechanism of spraying of plants. And we are able now to spray plants in a controlled way. We call it milking of plants. With milking of plants, we are able to get nutrients out of a plant on a non-destructive way. The plant recovers and we could do it again and again, without any harm to the plant. I can take out nutrients without destroying a plant. Think of Texol. Texol for example, is used as a chemical for chemotherapy. If we want to treat one person with Texol, we need to cut down four to six adult Texas trees. If we want to treat all variant cancer in the US, that would require to cut down 360,000 trees. That's, of course, not acceptable. We want to keep this tree. Texol is now made on a <coughs> excuse me, Texol is now made on a synthetic way in a chemical factory. Um, it's a very complex process and it uses a lot of energy and chemicals. What if we could replace this by a plant? See a plant as a chemical production unit. Green and environmentally smart. If we compare the, the extracting Texol with milking, we would learn something. To get Texol out of a plant on the traditional way, would, should, we should wait 50 years to mature the plant and then get out the Texol. Cut it down and take out, take out the Texol. If we milk the plant, we can start milking after a year and milk it every four to five weeks. If the plant grows, it produces liquid more and more. Um, we are now working with flora fluids on this plant called the Saturaya, better known as Bonekraut. Flora fluids is taking out a chemical called Carvacrol. Carvacrol is used to prevent bacterial growth because it's low toxic level its nice smell and taste, it suggests it could be used as a food additive. Covercrawl is now used to feed cows. If we, we know that if we feed cows with it, we reduce the need for antibiotics with 35% in a cow because it reduces the bacterial growth. In the past, we cut the saturaya into pieces and heat the plant up with water. Because of the heat, we could easily collect the cover crawl. If we do it with milking, we save the plant and it recovers in a few weeks. Flora fluids is using this technology to take out medicines and nutrients without of on a non-destructive way. But why? It's cheap, it's an easy process, it's recurring. It's recurring, done by nature, a plan to refill daily. Isn't Mother Nature great? If we think about all the plants that there are and the nutritions that can help us live healthier lives, there's a 
there's a world to explore. If we think about the rainforest, with all the plants and nutrients that there or are, there is a world to explore. Again. But we are destroying the rainforest so fast that many of these plants will be lost forever. We have to choose between agriculture, of cultivating the land for agriculture, or save these plants for nature generations. I say, save the rainforest and start with teaching local farmers how to milk. If we use nature and start milking plants and don't destruct them, we are able to save the rainforest, learn the local farmer to milk, and save val valuable nutrients because these nutrients have impact on our lives. I say modern nature has a solution for everything. Stop with destroying it and start with milking. Thank you.